We're going to look at a, one work of art. It's actually in a private collection. Uh, this is a work of art attributed to Leonardo da Vinci. As you can see at the top here, we've actually done a search for it. Uh, it's brought up the work. We have access to it. At the moment, you'll see who the artist is. If you click on this, you could actually learn about the artist and other works of art by that artist on the platform. This is the date that he lived. Uh, this work of art looks familiar to a lot of people. It's very similar to one that's sitting in the Louvre. Um, anyway, as we look at this, this one, uh, the date was attributed uh, in 1515. It's on uh, oil on a wood panel. The dimensions are here. If there were inscriptions, you would have seen it here. I'm seeing this as if I were the owner of the work of art, so it gives me some ability to edit or, or fix uh, any mistakes that are made on this. A short description. On the details tab, it's more like an executive summary that you would see here. It gives a full description, provenance, uh, any attribution, if an authentication was done, any associated literature, etc. Uh, down here we can also see that there is the uh, Authentify ID. This is a unique ID uh, that we have attributed to this uh, work of art or associated with this work of art. Uh, there's a QR code here for anybody. You can share it with them. It brings them back to this experience right here. Uh, we can also see, we're going to go over to what is really quantitative data on the status tab. In the status tab, you're going to see uh, any alerts that have been associated with this, information about movement you would see at the top here. Uh, I'm going to collapse history so you can see. This shows actually where this work of art is. This work of art, uh, where it was last seen, you know, on the west wall next to the safe, it was actually here in San Marcos, California. Uh, it can actually show you some details about the last time the environmental variables were sent here. This was actually last year. We removed the art tracker from this one, but I can show you some of that data. Um, as we move down, as I just showed you, you can see the full um, status history. So any alerts that were associated with this, we were using this actually as a test subject uh, in our lab. Uh, it wasn't the actual work of art. This was just for demo purposes, but it showed uh, when we exceeded the temperatures associated with the art tracker. As we go down further, you can see uh, this is summary information about uh, interactions with this work of art. We have different ways of tracking it, if there were any um, tags where it was, if there are environmental interactions, uh, data interest, or even a change log where that happened. So we can actually zoom in and see any points, any changes where it happened anywhere in the world. If the art tracker were live, it would be actually giving you real-time information about any of the variables that we're tracking. This one would be temperature, humidity, and vibration. Uh, the other variables we can show in real time as well. For now, we're just showing the three on this platform. This is the status log, so all the data you saw up there, we have uh, every point of information. You can actually see right here what's going on, what we've seen in the last uh, couple minutes. It actually shows, you know, uh, where in fact we were viewing this. This is actually me right here. It's showing uh, me looking at this data. Uh, environmental conditions, as I said, we had a tracker on here. Every point of data, when we have a tracker on, we're sampling every two seconds. Uh, this is just giving you a summary of all the data. We'll usually chart this out for you so you can see it and generate alerts based on this, but it gives you all the raw data you can see right here. So everything from the battery, uh, light, uh, all the color RGB that comes in, the gyroscope is telling you the orientation of the painting, uh, all the variables that you can learn about in the art tracker. Identifiers, uh, we can look at all identifiers. So whenever we have an NFC or a UHF tag, the art tracker, fingerprint, they're all here. So you can see them, how we can track and bring in both qualitative and quantitative data. And the alert management, you can see right here, we've set up, when we set up the tracker, we set up specific thresholds that we want to alert on temperature, humidity, and light. Uh, so we both have low and high thresholds and any margin. So this was allowing you to go all the way up to it with a 0% margin. When it hit 28 degrees uh, Celsius, it started sending alerts. Uh, in this case, it was sending it to my email uh, and SMS on some of it as well. The platform is more, we're actually going to go up to the third tab here, which is the documents tab. So any document associated with this, think of this like a deal room for this work of art, whether it be images, whether it be full reports, books, et cetera, everything can be uploaded here. There's metadata associated with each of these, so you can learn, read the notes about it. Um, a lot of this data is actually uh, being displayed on the first page. Uh, so this is the supporting evidence behind it. You can see some thumbnails of the images that we have associated with this as well. 
The, the really big thing, we talk about scoring, it's actually on the due diligence side. The scorecard, uh, this gives the what we refer to as the eight A's uh, of art. Uh, these are the eight categories uh, that are associated with this. Uh, if you're not seeing some of them having A's in them, uh, you'll see this will be updated to reflect you know, how we see the eight A's. Um, this at the moment, the scorecard is reflecting a completeness score. Uh, it's not actually talking about a, a quality or a value score. It's just, have we done the completeness on it? The next scorecards that will be presented go beyond completeness. This is a 93% complete, uh, and they will help you understand comparing to other works of art by the same artist, same period, etc. cetera. Uh, those same documents we saw down here, it gives a breakdown of this, so it shows the various documents and how they fit in. So a single document, it could be a report or a book, could address all eight categories, three categories, four, and this can allow you to highlight it, including what pages, where it's referenced, and once again, the metadata associated with it. So this helps people fill out uh, the full completeness of this all the way down you know, to the bottom. Uh, on the legal title, uh, there's all sorts of information that can be associated, art loss, registry, uh, any royalties, contract, uh, liens, etc. can all be here, and, and you can learn about that. So we'll go back to the very top. Um, we didn't discuss here. We talked about the various ways we connect the physical with the digital. Uh, this is if it has a NFC tag, which this does. NFC, like Samsung or Apple Pay, you would see here. Uh, this is the UHF tags. People familiar with UHF, uh, it's more common in supply chain. But this is one of the IDs we put on the works of art. It can actually be read through walls. It can be hooked into your security system. Uh, it can actually be re read up to 300 meters away. So it's very effective, especially for created goods, uh, to protect and to, to monitor the movement of them. Uh, the art tracker, there's not an art tracker on there. So that's why it's great at the moment, but an art tracker would show up here. Digital fingerprint, that's our patented technology. Uh, we partnered now with IBM and Samsung to bring that to every smartphone around the world. Uh, if there's any NFTs, I don't want you to think about just NFT art, but think about title. Uh, we've created a utility title NFT. Uh, so if you have clean title, whether it be an old master or a contemporary or modern work of art, it would be associated here. Uh, any other numbers, ascension numbers, uh, Library of Congress, you name it, uh, any other associated ID with this, we actually list them here so we can tie all this information together. And the last, if there's a full experience uh, around the work of art or multiple experiences, you can see it here. If you're just on the back end, you can actually see we've got several works uh, images in the gallery. You can just click through here, uh, or you can actually go and zoom into it and see it in more detail. Uh, so once again, just a great feature of the platform. Makes it very easy for people who have access to you know, incredibly rich content, uh, and in this case, you know, very large images that can just be seen either on your computer or, or on your phone. Hope you enjoyed. If you'd like uh, more of a live demo, uh, just reach out to us at uh, info at Thanks.